guys, Christian the Hammer Cardman here coming back at you with a live duel today because I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, and by live duel, I just mean games on EDO Pro where I'll actually be like showing you everything play by play, giving you my thoughts as I'm going. And we're going to be hopping in today for a best of three with this prank kids list here. This is my most recent like meta prank kids profile. I went like all out for this. I'm working on building this in real life, but I kind of want the Zeus to go down a little bit first as well as the triple tactics. So I might have to wait on reprints to get this exact profile out to you guys. But as you can see here, it's actually looking pretty good. And I am maining the cop three copies of Miradora because I think this is actually really underrated hand trap in this current format with things like Calamities and, um, you know, your Smorg running around. This guy is in, himself an out to Smorg, so you don't have to worry about getting locked in uh, either with a Dark Smorg or a Barrier Statue. So this is an easy out to both of those, which is really, really handy. And it's also a Wind Monster, so if they do somehow get the Barrier Statue, you can at least still get this guy out and have a body on field that can then beat over it. So I think overall, really good card here. Um, so I'm going to be running this. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and hop into a game, and I'll be right back right now all right let's go ahead and get to the rock paper scissors and getting the paper right off the bat that sucks man i've usually been having to deal with the rock to rock uh this is a first all right so looks like we are going second once again and i never i swear every time i go second i never open the hand traps but you know it's fine i think we're only really running six in the main deck anyways so that's totally reasonable um but we did get the means to go off with our combos uh protect combos a little bit and extend further if we get asked or anything Ooh, we are going against dinos, so this might be really rough, actually. This triple tactics might come really in handy. Um, thankfully, we do have Zeus in the extra deck. So if they go into the Doka and we get Doka, then we can just steal it, attack, and then turn it into a Zeus right after. So that'll be kind of funny. All right, we got the over after effect. All right, buddy, what do we got here? Okay, so this is just normal dino shenanigans at this point. He's already gone Misk. He's already gone Baby. He's getting another baby, I'm guessing, for over raptor effect. Oh, no, it has to be on the field. Oh, he can normal summon, though, still. Rip. So, yeah, over raptor going to pop the baby then. Going to give him a dinosaur from the grave in defense. Gets the petite. Fair enough. Oh, this man's just going to get bodies for days. So, we're definitely going to be facing down a Dolka and 100% an ulti conductor. So, this will be this will be interesting. There, there's no way he can't build up into a conductor because he's he's got the Amador and, and I'm guessing he's got a Link Karibo on the extra deck that's just like standard for Dino players. So if he can just go Link Karibo and then probably um, oh my god I can't remember the other name. Uh, but yeah, it just links off a Cybers monster. He might have it, or he might just try to like link to with the Petite maybe. And just go into like I feel like he's gonna save the petite if he can for the ulti conductor. Nope, he's just gonna go straight for the Reapodocus to get his link rebound grave. Okay, and he's gonna change type to what? What is he changing his type to? Winged beast. Oh, he's going for some more. You are not good, sir. That is the funny thing about Miradora is that it's an out to Smorg, but I didn't draw it, so we're a little bit screwed here. The fact that I didn't open any hand traps means so this is probably gonna be a game one loss. Like there's almost no hope for us at this point yeah there goes the link Kribo, and i'm gonna guess oh the giant rex oh that is definitely not good all right so then there's the ulti conductor hitting the field giant rex effect activating gonna get him the dolka now so we're gonna be facing the dolka ulti conductor tyranno and a barrier statue uh which means we literally have like no combos the best we can hope for is to activate the prank kid's place and then get ashed so we can triple tactics talent um that's literally the best thing we can hope for here but even then, we will, like if we get the Dolka, we won't be able to go into Zeus. So, because we'll have a... Well, if we beat over the barrier statue, actually, that'd be fine. All right. So, I'm going to hit place. I guess if we don't get Ashed... Oh, I can't even fusion summon, though, is the issue. Because I don't have any wind targets. Prank gets place. Is he going to realize that I can play... He's going to Ash it. Yes, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Okay, well, I guess... Oh, he can just flip the Dolka upside down, though. All right, well, we're going to hope, and uh, we're just going to see what happens here. So, actually, I can just take care of, or take control of his ulti conductor, not activate a... F oh, I guess he'll activate the effect. Mm. So, either way, I need to take control of a monster. I really need to. I mean, I guess I could always just steal the barrier statue so I can get through plays, but that he's just going to dolka everything. I, I just need to get the negates off the board, so we're just going to steal the dolka. Put you to attack. 
battle phase, I feel like it's just gonna get, he's just gonna flip it up face down. But then we can dulk it, so that's fine. Actually, that's really fine. Yeah, we'll just attach the over after, that's okay. Bye, ulti conductor. You actually made this like really easy to out everything with just one card. All right, we're gonna get rid of that barrier statue now. So I don't think it can be detected by battle. Yeah, no, we're fine. So now we can go main phase two, get everything we need. So I'm just gonna get the Zeus now, just so I can make sure that I don't get locked into anything. All right. <laughs> Wow, okay, we got so lucky with that Ash, actually. Oh, oh my god, this feels so good. I have i don't think I've ever actually resolved an Ash before, like I resolved uh, Triple Tactics before and been able to do anything as crazy as that. So we have it out to their board, like, completely now next turn. So this is actually going to be hilarious. All right, so we're going to special summon out Fanzies, right? And then we'll go, we're going to do some climbing here. We're going to go to the Dodo first. Uh, we'll add the Pandemonium, because we want the Quick Play spell to use on their turn. <laughs> oh, excuse, excuse me. <coughs> oh, boy. I was not ready for that. Is this where the big baby dino player is just going to scoop to prank kids because he can't handle the thunder? All right. Add the Pandemonium to hand. So we actually have, like, the full means to go into uh, our Link 4 and our Battle Butler. All right. So we're going to send the play in the graveyard, and then we're going to special summon. We haven't used Lampsies or Dropsies yet, so we'll special summon Lampsies. The only one we've used is Roxy's, so that is good to know. All right, so we're going to go Bow Wow Bark here. All right. So this is where the big brain plays are going to come in. So we're going to use the Lampsies and Grave. Not chain anything. And then we'll special summon the Dropsies from deck, so we haven't used it yet. Boom, boom. Oh, we can go double Battle Butler, too. This is so disgusting. All right. So we're going to go Polly here. Not going to chain anything. All right. So this is going to get us Rocket Ride with our Bow Wow Bark. Boom, boom. Go Rocket Ride right there. And then we will trigger Dropsies. And then I know we don't need a Chain Block, but I'm just going to Rocket Ride anyways. And then we will not activate Place yet. We'll save that one. Or Zeus. Don't want to activate Zeus. All right. Special Summon 1 Prank Kids Monster. We are going to Special Summon. I don't think it really matters because we've used all of them now. So we'll just Special Summon another Battle Butler name. Totally okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and activate this. Get back this and this. I, actually, we might not be able to get the Link 4 now that I'm, like, looking at it. Um, so, we'll just put you right here. All right. So, now... Yeah, no, it looks... Okay, so we could do the Link 4, like, right now. Like, if we were to do it right now, that'd be the case. But we want the Double Battle Butler, so we're going to go this way. Because I don't want him to get the Samorg at the end of turn. Um, so, yeah, we're going to add back the Dropsies and the Fancies. All right. So, this is our Battle Butler number one. And then we'll Thunder Dragon Fusion for the other one. And the funny thing is we could save the Pandemonium for our opponent's turn, too. So this is actually just disgusting here. So we'll go Battle Butler. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And then we'll summon you right here in attack mode as our attacky boy. We're not going to activate that yet because we have one more. Wow. We were able to play through a Dino board with nothing but a Triple Tactics talent. That is hilarious. I love it. All right. Go to Battle Butler number two. Shuffle back these. We didn't have any banished, sadly, but it doesn't really matter. It's fine. All right, so now we'll summon this here. I guess it really didn't matter when we activated the place, because um, we're just going to honestly battle Butler right now. <laughs> so we don't keep the Samorg on field. We really don't want that boy to stay. All right, and then we're just going to set now and pass, since we've already used battle phase. That was an excellent way to show you guys how prank kids can play through stuff, like, so easily. Granted, it did use the Triple Tactics talent, but sometimes you need cards like that to, you know, just stay relevant. But this is just to show you guys how insane. Like, we played through a Dino board with three disruptions. Like, so many disruptions, actually. And, uh, yeah, no, this is just crazy. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, just to show you guys, like, the overall power. What's he, does he have a target to destroy in hand, or is it literally just an Archosaur? Okay, so he's going to go Misk, actually. So he's gonna try to summon a target. I think actually I might. Ooh. I mean, look, that's the only one that's normally special summon, so that's not gonna matter. Like he's already used his Archosaur. So I don't know what he'd really have to go for at this point, to be completely honest. Um, I think just for safety's sake, I'm just gonna use Bow Wow now, so that I can protect my Battle Butler, and then we'll add back to our hand. Roxies and Lampsies, just so that that way we have a game plan 
uh, to go into the Pandemonium with to get some recovery plays. So, that way, even if our board, like, he does clear off the board, we'll be fine. Alright, so he's got the Over Raptor. Uh, I think I'm gonna blow this up here, because I don't want that to chill. I really don't. So, here's one Disruption, and he'll have another one to play through here in a minute. I don't know what he's gonna add to hand or send to grave, but we'll see. All right, what's he searching for? Like, honestly, if he doesn't have much follow-ups, he's adding the Misk to hand. He's already used Misk Graveyard effects. The best he can do is just discard it. And I don't think that's gonna do a whole lot for him, to be honest. All right. So, okay, double evolution pill is his play. So, if he tries to flip our Battle Butler, we'll just respond to it. Uh, I guess he'd flip the Zeus too, but if if he does ulti conductor and like just tries to flip everything we'll just respond to the battle butler flip it face down or not flip it but destroy it and we'll be just fine like really this will i'm gonna let him activate for oh he doesn't even have anything to get rid of it with all right so in that case then i am going to activate pandemonium and then also respond with the battle butler just to clear his board and then like we'll have plays to otk next turn all right, so we'll go ahead. We'll just bring out the rocket ride. Cause, uh, no, we can just do the weather washer now. That's fine. Because then we can just tribute it right away after we get our summon. Uh, and then actually just for the lulls, we'll prank its place to boost up our Zeus. I guess I should have done that after the lamp sees the chain block. But we know he doesn't have anything here. So I'm honestly kind of surprised that he hasn't just scooped yet at this point. Uh, but look at that. We now <laughs> we have Link 4 for our turn. Um, all right, this is just nuts okay let's see how this goes so wait we didn't why didn't we get rid of his ulti conductor can it not be destroyed by card effects okay uh we'll special summon lampsies it doesn't really matter all that much what is he is he protected huh i don't know why his ulti conductor didn't get destroyed but that's okay. We're just going to beat over it next turn anyways. So, like, it really doesn't matter. What is... What can he respond with? He shouldn't have anything that he can chain. Okay. I'm confused. Like, he, he literally shouldn't have anything, I don't think. Unless there's something I'm missing with Dinos that I didn't know about. Um... I'm not sure. I... Is he just upset that I played on his turn? I, I don't know what's going on here right now, guys. Uh, buddy, what you doing? Okay. Oh, he's... I didn't realize he wasn't in battle phase yet. Yikes. Um. Okay, so he's really just trying to force the Zeus out of me. Because it just has to be in defense mode, right? Uh, yeah, okay, so yikes i really screwed the pooch on that one uh but that's fine because i'm just gonna activate prank its plan and then unfortunately i'm gonna have to chain the zeus but that just means i'm gonna recycle everything anyways so that's fine and then we'll still have a 4k zeus on field so i mean like we'll be okay but thanks for resetting all my resources at the very least um <laughs> i'll get everything right back so it means i have a full deck all over again and i have a thunder dragon fusion engrave which means i have full combo next turn and, like, you literally have nothing to stop me. So, thanks, bro. And I got a prank kids play. So, like, this is just, this is game. Just, honestly, dude, at this point, just scoop. Because all I need now, I just need 3k more damage. And that's not even hard for prank kids to do. Alright, so I'm just going to add, I'm going to add one of the battle butler materials. So, we can banish it off of the Roxies when we get him. Just so that way we have a target. That's the only reason I hacked into the place. Alright, link summon into Meow Meow. Like, this is just going to be so much for real estate. All right. So, we're just going to dump the other plan to grave just to have it ready. Special summon out. We'll just get the Roxies out of the way real quick. Help thin out our deck some. This is... God. I, I honestly never thought I'd see a day where prank kids could beat dinos. Uh, and, like, dinos at full power, no less. Like, this dude had full plays. Like, he, he had everything on his side. And yet, yeah, he just... Yeah. All right, so we're going to special summon out then, I guess. We'll just special summon out the Lampsies. Get that burn. So that way we only have 2,500 to worry about. Uh, add the Pandemonium to hand. 
So actually, we can literally just straight up activate this and just go battle butler right now and not even have to worry about a thing. Like this is this is insane, guys. I yeah. Words cannot describe how uh, how much I love prank kids. So going three materials for battle butler, boom boom. And then the great thing is we'll be able to special summon two more off of these guys. And like we have game here. Like this is enough to end it all right now. Activate that. You can't beat the grind power of prank kids, man. You just can't. This deck is so ridiculous. Okay, it doesn't matter who we special summon out at this point, because they're really just bodies, is all they are. All right, and then we'll just special summon out of Roxy, so that's fine. Like, literally, don't even need them. I'm just gonna swap this to attack, go battle phase, swing for GG's. I think this is only, this is only game one. Oh, God. All right, boom, boom. Alrighty, come on. There we go. All right, so there's game one over. Gonna go ahead and side really quick. All right, so dinos, this is gonna be rough. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna take out the upstart. Uh, and I'm gonna start putting in probably some Skullmeisters. I feel like I want the Nibiru. Because if I can hit it before he actually gets to uh, his boy, then like we're fine. So we're definitely gonna take out the upstart. I kind of want to leave the called by in, but I might have to side it out. So I feel like I'm gonna be going second. So I'm just gonna take out the Prohibition. See how this goes. I don't think I took out the upstart, but that's totally fine. Uh, we'll just play with the 39 card deck. It's not really gonna hurt us all that much. Let's see what he sides for prank kids. I feel like we're probably gonna see the ghost or Skullmeister, uh, probably the ghost bell. Yeah, I don't know. This will be this will be really interesting. All right, here we go. Done siding now. Let's see what he's got. I am definitely going second. We did open the ash and the triple tactics, which means we're probably gonna be able to break this guy's board like super easy. Uh, fine. Have your terraforming. It's just gonna be for Lost World, right? Like that's yeah, that's fine. It's not really gonna do a whole lot. <coughs> oh, excuse me um yeah because we don't have anything to target with so i mean like that's fine it's not gonna kill anything for us so and it i mean if nothing else it's just it's gonna give us a bonus body like you're giving us exactly what we want uh oh uh, i feel like i kind of need to hit this now i don't think it's gonna do a whole lot but i kind of do I feel like he's got more than one already, or he's already got, like, a, there's no way he doesn't already have, like, an over after or a misc. Like, he's got to have, he's got another fossil thing. I had a feeling, but I, this is one less search. It means there's a little bit less power to his combo, so that's fine. I actually don't mind that. Okay, he searched the misc, which means he's already got the over after in hand. He, he has to. Like, there's no way he doesn't already, yeah, he's got the over after. Okay. Every dino player I've ever known always opens the over after. He's going to get the lost world. Yeah, so he's going to get a token on my field. To protect this stuff, but he doesn't have to worry about me targeting anything. I don't have anything left to target, so. Actually, the really cool thing about our hand uh, is if we don't get hit on the prank kid's place, and, like, that doesn't get ash, then, like, we can go into rocket ride combo, which means, like, we are set to do a lot of damage. Like, because that, that will full-on get us the battle butler and the, um, ripper and roasters. Like, it, like if it doesn't get uh, interrupted anyways. If it does get interrupted, then we just have a triple tactics talent. That we can use on him and like we'll just do the same thing we did last game like just take his doka go into the zeus and it's fine like it's ggs i i honestly really do love triple tactics style i thought it was overrated for the longest time now that i'm actually play testing it man this card is insane especially when you can just take exceeds monsters and then go into zeus and the funny fact is like that if you take a dolka because he doesn't have a negate for it right unless he has like a solemn or something he only has monster negates so, like, if he tries to flip it with the ulti conductor, then, like, all right, fine. You're not going to accomplish anything, so I'm just going to dulk it. And I still have two materials for Zeus, so, like, you've done literally nothing. Except for clear the field of a, an, an ulti conductor, so that's just funny. If he goes for the Reaper Dacus play again, though, I will actually laugh. Like, that'll just be hilarious to see. I feel like he might be a little more weary about ashing me this time, though, or, like, trying to disrupt with monster effects. Uh, just because he is aware now of the triple tactics and how ridiculous it is. So he's definitely going for the Reaper Dacus play, uh, of course. I mean, that's it's valid. It's so free in Dinos to be able to just go into some morgue, you know, and then, like, it, it, you don't even get the barrier stature until end phase. So it's just, like, even more insane. And he's got the Lost World weighing it down, at least, so that's good. So any Link 2 can get over the Samorg. Uh I guess it doesn't really matter, though, because... Uh, <laughs> I need to be able to summon wind, and if I, yeah, so that might actually be a problem trying to get there, but we'll see what we can do here. Now that else, if we can hit, if we get disrupted on the prank kid's place, like, we're fine. Like, this, this is really just fine. 
All right. So yeah, he's doing like the exact same play as before. Going to be Dolka, Conductor. It's such a linear line of play, and it's so sad. Like, sure, I may not be able to disrupt you during your turn, but it's not that hard to break your body. He's going to go Bist while Okay, that's even worse. Um, I mean, the nice thing is we can still steal it, if nothing else, because he's going to activate a monster effect. Oh, it's going to be during the standby phase, though, so that is going to be the difference. Because he's activating it during the standby. All right, that's fine. Um, okay, so we got the prank. So actually, we got another extender, which is super good. So yeah, he's gonna activate the abyss. That's it's gonna suck. Uh, it means we like literally can't do anything. Um, so yeah, we're gonna add the prank kids monster. We'll just add the lampsies. See if he does anything with this. No, because he knows like he knows I can't. Especially there's the droll. Okay, wow, this man does not learn. He really does not learn. Thanks, chief. <laughs> Like, I'll just, uh, I'll steal that Fancy Dancy Abyss Dweller over there of yours. Sure, we can't combo this turn, but I can do it next turn, so. We're just gonna go Battle Face now, swing over that Barrier Statue. I, I mean, best you can do is Lilty Conductor, buddy. There you go, it's like literally all you had. It means I still got rid of your Samorg, I got rid of your Abyss Dweller. Alright, um, so we're still in main phase then. Alright, so let's see here. I don't think we have anything with Special Summon, but we can theoretically make it through the next turn. So, I think that's... I mean, if I really wanted to, I could go into the Dodo. I can still go to the Dodo and get over his Barrier Statue, so I'm going to do that, actually. Because I really don't want to have to deal with that. Activate. Then, I can't discard? Oh, because I can't Special Summon it. Oh my god, I forgot it's fire. And I can't, it, yeah, I can't go into anything. Oh, that's so sad. I screwed myself on that one. Whoops. That one's totally my bad. I didn't even think about that. He just gets his Abyss Dweller right back. So that's going to be another turn. So I think Dinos might actually have this game. He was kind of smart for signing in the Abyss Dweller, or at least uh, opting to use it this time. He's just going to flip that ulti conductor into attack mode now and just, yeah, go for some damage here. I feel he's just going to attack. He's obviously going to attack into a drop. He's for 3k. Uh, pulling out the barrier statue. Man's really wants that extra 500 damage. Wow. I'm gonna laugh, though, if he, like, links off the barrier statue and, like, tries to overextend. Because if he does that and, like, ends up getting rid of his abyssal or something. Why is he attacking into the token? Oh, because it can't... It doesn't send it to graveyard, so that's fine. But, I mean, you still could do this, though, because it can attack all of your opponent's monsters once each. So I think it really would have been made more sense for the ulti conductor to attack. But that's just me, I guess. Um, that's fine. Oh! Wait. Let's turn off a normal monster to the field to be destroyed. But no. Yeah, okay. So, fair enough. I see. He just really wanted the Lost World trigger, but... Yeah, because that would have stopped his ulti conductor attack. So, I, I see exactly what he was doing there. He just wanted the Petite. But he didn't get anything off of it because he forgot about his own barrier statue, which is funny. All right, there's the dropsy, so we're gonna get hit for 1,200. So we're still at 2,800 life points. Like this is still playable. Uh, you know, if he for some reason gets rid of the barrier statue because he wants to keep playing, we'll be just fine. Like this won't even be an issue. I don't think he has a way to get rid of it though, to be honest, because he needs a link monster <laughs> or uh, for some reason a rank. Yeah, no, he's got nothing to get rid of it. So this might actually a little too late. A little too late on that one, Chief. Yikes. Okay. Um. So, for fear of Big Daddy Dino, I think I'm actually just going to set this and pass and hope that for some reason he overextends next turn. Uh, we might be able to survive. Like, there is a small chance that we can make it through this. If uh, Please attack the Ulti Conductor. Please. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So, now we're only going to be taking... Ex uh, we're going to be 100 short a game. Like, we are going to be literally standing on 100 life points. So, um, we're gonna hope that that's enough and that we get, like, the prime top deck. Like, that's exactly what we need right now. Like, if we get a Roxy's... Oh, wait, no, but we can't. Oh, we got a Miradora now? Like, you're kidding me. All right, we're just gonna surrender that game. All right, let's go into game three then. Let's side deck for Dinos really quick. Ah, oh, I wish I had something I could actually, like, side in against them. I think I'm gonna go with the Alpha just to help break boards a little bit. We're gonna pull out the Miradora because we... I know it's an out to the barrier statue, but we haven't been seeing it. Well, actually, I think I'd, I'd rather get rid of the Nibiru. Because the thing about Miradora is it can't be negated. So even if he gets the Dolka out before going into some org, he can't do anything about it. Uh, What did I not? Oh, the Miradora. Okay, fair. 
So yeah, I think I'd rather have the alpha at this point. That's going to be way better for breaking this board. Uh, if nothing else, at least to bait out a disruption. If we could draw an alpha and a triple tactics, like he's he's done. He's over. <laughs> All right. Let's see if he decides to further side deck or if he's just going to keep his build the way it is. Because that Abyss Dweller was pretty nasty. I will not lie. Like, that was a really good out. And the fact that he had Lost World on field, I mean... That dude kind of screw us a little bit. No, he he had like he had everything last game. I, I don't know if there was any way that Prankins could have played through that other than having drawn hand traps to stop it in the first place. That really would have been about it. Um, so I'm gonna go first this time because I really need to go first. And we did draw the Mirador and the Ash. All right, sweet. So we've got like full plays against him. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get the triple tactics or the prohibition, which does really suck. But at least we've got something to help stop him, which is gonna be really nice. All right, so he's not. Is he going to hit the Roxies? I feel like he's going to ash the Roxies. He is not. Okay, thank God. All right, so we're going to banish Lancey's draw one. Got a Roxies. Wow, you're kidding me. All right, Fanzies from deck. All right, and this is where... Uh, ooh, what's, he's going to hit the Droll right here. Okay. So that means that we don't get to add Pandemonium from our deck to our hand, which really sucks. That means we're going to have to send it off of the Fanzies, but honestly, that's fine. So what we do here then... We'll just, yeah, we'll use the Fancy's Effect. If he has the Ash, I swear. I swear to God. All right, good. So we'll use Fancy's then. We'll send the Pandemonium. It's like, that's a way to play around Droll, uh, just in case you guys know. All right, so we'll go here. At this point now, we just go ahead and Dodo, add Pandemonium and the Fancy's, and then, like, just set and pass. Because, like, this means we can go Battle Butler during their turn with two, uh, two pops off of it. So we'll just set... He does know that we have it, but I mean, like honestly, we're gonna be fine. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass on this just so we can get the maximum amount of summons. I think I'm probably just gonna shotgun the pandemonium right away just so I have it. So I don't know if there's really gonna be a way for him to like break the board because if he if he just goes out into his um his big boy his ulti conductor like we could just chain the battle butler to him, so that's honestly fine. All right, so we're gonna do this. Go Battle Butler. Right, and then we'll activate all these boys. We're going to do Dropsy's very last because that is the least important one. I mean, they're all important, don't be wrong. You want the body from all of them, but if there's going to be one of them to get Ash, you want it to be the Dropsy's. All right, so we're going to Special Summon. Fancies from deck. Special Summon. We'll Special Summon an extra Roxy's, and then the Fancies will be able to... We'll dump a plan... So we can reset some resources again and then be able to special summon a dropsies. Boom. There we go. Got a full board now. Like, it wasn't the best turn one play, but we got something to play with, which is really good. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to hit that now, Chief. I'm sorry. All right. Really hoping here that the disruption we got for the turn is going to be enough to stop dinos here and actually get us the game three. Because this is, this is the deciding game right here. This is the tiebreaker. This has been a really good matchup. I actually really am happy that we're doing Dinos versus Prank Kids. Because, I don't know. I think this is really fun. Alright, so he's going to hit the double evolution pill right off the bat. I almost feel like he has the ulti conductor in hand already. And he's just summoning out one from deck. Just to try to, like, bait out my... Oh, so he's only got two cards in hand. He's just going to go battle phase. Um, yeah, Chief. I'm just going to have to say no to that. Uh, and also set everything back. Thank you. All right. Destroy. Shuffle back everything. Thank you for your generous donation today. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know what he expected to happen here. I think that might be all he has for the turn. I think the Ash and the Battle Butler really, like, kind of stopped it for him. He might have, like, a few more plays to go through, but... What, he's Okay, so he hasn't normal summoned yet. All he did was misc. He's going to go with another misc in hand, but he can't banish it the same turn because he already used one. Yeah, uh, big brain dino players, I guess. Right, guys? Um, <laughs> I don't know what he's got here. Like, what he's going for. Okay, maybe... Did he not... Oh, no, I'm sorry. He banished the misc off the double evo. All right, fair enough. He's just going to go with another ulti conductor and pass uh yeah i'm just gonna say get rid of that now chief i don't want you having anything to do with that and i'll just have full plays to like beat you down again next turn and we drew into the thunder dragon fusion like there is there anything else you could ask for that like would be a better top deck than that all right so we're gonna go roxy's 
banished the Roxies, and we got another Miradora. That's funny. All right, so one we're missing from deck is Lampsies. That's totally fine. All right, so now we're just going to climb up into some Link plays here. We're going to go Dodo uh, with these two. I'm going to chain block the Dodo this time because I'd much rather have the Pandemonium to hand. And then we'll drop these afterward. All right, let's see what we got here. So a special summon. It doesn't matter. We'll just get the extra fanzies because we're just going to be recycling it, so it's fine. Uh, and then we'll add, yeah, the Pandemonium. 100% need to add that. All right, so what gets great here is now we can link these two into a Bow Wow. Yes, activate trigger effect. Fanzies first, then dropsies. Like, dude, I, I don't even know how you could get more free than this. This is just insane. All right, so we're going to special summon dropsies. Because, uh, once again, this really doesn't matter at this point who we summon. Uh, we'll do the plan again just so we can recycle more resources. So then now think we just need another lamp seeds it's fine because then what we do from here right is we can link four with these two finish all right uh, oh we actually the thing is we can double battle butler like i i feel disgusting for this because we just pandemonium right okay so we actually can't double battle butler um so in that case we're gonna have to rocket ride i think oh yikes I didn't think this one through. Yeah, so we're gonna rocket ride. Like that's all right. That's fine. Rocket ride right there. Don't need to activate trigger, and then we'll just activate his effect. Summon back Bow Wow and Dodo. All right, so we'll summon Dodo right here. Summon you right here. Uh, then we can activate you, just so we can get another special summon. All right, so we'll do you and you. It doesn't matter who we bring back. Because all we do from here is activate the pandemonium because we just need extra damage at this point so we're gonna go weather washer and so this way he won't be able to activate any effects during the battle phase okay this is actually like super big brain so we can just thunder dragon fusion right here get out that last battle butler shuffle back materials do we have any banished actually i don't think we do all right doesn't matter shuffle those back put you right here for the extra damage and then go battle phase and swing for game with just two monsters <laughs> All right, so here you go, guys. This has uh, been two to one with Prank Kids against Dinos. And just to show you how insane pure Prank Kids actually is, thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this live duel. If you want to see more, go and let me know down in the comments. Let me know if there's any other decks you want me to play or if you just want me to keep playing Prank Kids because honestly, I'd, I'm okay to show you guys a bunch of different matchup of Prank Kids. I love this deck to the ends of the earth. So if you guys have any other uh, decks you want me to play or if you want me to just keep playing this, just go ahead and let me know like 100%. Thank you guys for your awesome support. Please keep killing it. Let's go ahead and hit 1,000 subs by the end of the year. If we're feeling ambitious enough, let's try to hit 300 by the end of March because as of recording this, it's only March 6th. So if you guys can, go ahead and kill that like and subscribe button. And I will catch you guys all in the next video. Remember to have fun and make your move. Peace out. I'm a love giver.